So, have you ever seen the film Man in Black? The old classic one, not uh, this modern one, the latest. Uh, when Tommy Lee Jones recruited Will Smith to the secret organization, he said an excellent words. 1,500 years ago, everybody knew that Earth is the center of the universe. 500 years ago, everybody knew that Earth was flat. And 15 minutes ago, you knew that humans were alone on this planet. And now, just imagine what you will know tomorrow. Uh, the first time the uh, term artificial intelligence was coined in 1956, in 1956 by John McCartney. And now, after more than 60 years, we use AI in our day-to-day -day activities, uh, such as email communication when we use smart replies in Google, in predictive searches when we uh, search something in Google and get recommendations, when we listen music on Spotify or to and get recommendation and songs according our tastes. When Google Maps calculated uh, our traffic and construction in order to find the quickest destination, road to our destination, that's AI at work. And now, thinking about B2B, how, they, how the technology changed B2B when the enterprise have a huge budget on innovations. My name is Yaroslava. I'm Chief of Marketing in Decima Digital. And today, I want to dive deeper with you into the future and tell where you should invest your time and knowledge to be one step ahead of your clients. But uh, before that, uh, let's take a look at the previous years. And, uh, we'll discover what technologies and trends were popular and what will be the next big things in e-commerce. So the previous years were filled with important events, especially in e-commerce world. So Magenta prolonged the support of their Magenta first version. Magenta was acquired by Adobe. And in 2018's data, uh, general data protection regular regulation rules impacted the whole digital world, and e-commerce was no exception. Now, e uh, all e-commerce business owners are responsible for collecting and safe storage of customers' data. Um, also, chatbots uh, technology become much popular this year. Uh, about 55%, 65% of companies using B2B in, our, in their web software and about 58% of companies using it in B2B. Chatbots are so popular thanks to the usage of messaging apps. 80% uh, of adults and 91% of teens using chat, chatbots like messengers with chatbots in every day. Every day. And over 8 billion messaging is exchanged between people and business on Messenger each month. Uh, another uh, outgoing trend is uh, uh, cryptocurrency. S despite the continued hype, cryptocurrency is failing badly. Um, the vast majority of cryptocurrencies can be found on the website deadcoins.com. Even the best of class Bitcoin has lost about 80% of its value in the last year. But still, cryptocurrency is a currency. The currency without boundaries and limits. Um, in this, on this September, according to the coin map, more than 15,000 of, uh, of venues accept cryptocurrency. The main advantage of cryptocurrency, like the payment with cryptocurrency, is a fast and low fee processing. Even Facebook is still thinking about their own cryptocurrency, and they plan to launch it the next year, in the 2020. And the last outgoing trend is the voice assistance. At the end of the 2018, it was about 3 billion voice assistants in use in the world. The major key players are Apple, Google, and Amazon. 
Today, Amazon Alexa includes more than 56,000 skills. With Amazon, we can order products, uh, like with Alexa, we can order products from Amazon. With Google, we can order products from Google Express, Walmart, uh, and Target. We even can order Dunkin' Donuts uh, from Dunkin' Donuts and coffee from Starbucks with the help of voice assistants. But what is happening in the reality? The reality is digital transformation is a still buzzword for many companies. Uh, consumers are not purchasing with a voice assistance. In uh, 2018, only 2% of people have successfully made a purchase with Alexa. Uh, only 13% of companies currently know what digital, like GDPR, means and how they collect and store their data. Over the past two years, one in five companies just failed in digital transformation. Uh, Lego recently closed its digital designer VR program. Uh, Burberry wants to become one of the world's best digital luxury brand, but performance became to suffer after the initial improving. Uh, companies spend millions to develop digital product and infrastructure and fails. There are, can be many reasons of failure, from complexity to poor organizational structure, but the main reason is the wrong technology decisions. Today, B2B buyers become more demanding than ever before. We are more demanding. We want taxi in five minutes. We want pizza delivered in 20 minutes. We want our groceries in 60 uh, seconds, in 60 minutes. And uh, we want online searches in 0.3 seconds. We want a uh, website in one second and content on demand. The same is happening with B2B. Today, B2B spent more and more time on independent researches and collecting information from third-party reviews platform. They do not want to listen to the sales pitch. They want to work with a particular supplier who understand their like, pain points and some industry challenges. Today, B2B is high social and hyper-connected. Uh, and all purchase decisions about their products and services they, made, uh, they make based on the digital presence. That's why it's really important to be on the same page with your client and know the latest tech trends and, of course, being able to adapt and use them. So the first trend of 2020 is the cognitive commerce. Imagine a world where offers come to you only according to uh, your needs. Or customers arrive to your website and find exactly product they are interested in. Uh, now we are entering the third generation of computing based on cognitive computing. What does cognitive mean? It means system that learn. For e-commerce, it means learn everything about their users and customers. It means the ability to effectively optimize inventory and procurement processes. Uh, maybe it sounds fantastic. Yeah, well, it is to some extent, but the reality is this capability is available now and show the great uh, results and real-world testing. And according to IBM, more than 90% of retail executives uh, already have already planned to invest in cognitive technologies in the future. One of the oldest and uh, one of the first cognitive systems in the world is IBM Watson. Its system uh, learn, it recognizes ton of voice, it recognizes images, it uh, analyzes search results and user behavior. Uh, using IBM Watson, the company 1800flowers.com created a virtual assistant who allowing, that allowing uh, customers describe the kind of gift they are looking for 
and get personalized recommendation. Another example of using cognitive insights is a company Otto. Otto is a leading e-commerce German company. Uh, the aim of their system is to reduce product returns that cost company just millions. So Otto analyze that uh, customers will return products if the shipping process took longer than two days. Uh, Otta is a multi-brand e-commerce website, and they sell items for, from different suppliers. That's why, like as a result, uh, all par parcels arrived at different times. Uh, to um, like to avoid this issue, Otta create a cognitive inventory system that uh, analyzes over three billion past transactions and 200 options uh, like sales, orders, website searches, and even weather, and predict what, will be, uh, what customer will order in a week before their purchase. Uh, the system uh, predicts with 90% accuracy what will be sold within 30 days. Uh, and thanks to that system, Otto uh, increase their sales in two million items per year. And of course, Amazon. What we can do without Amazon? Amazon is no stranger to cognitive technologies. Uh, it powers three main products in Amazon. It is Amazon Alexa, it is Amazon Go Store, and recommendation engine on their marketplace. The first one, Amazon Alexa, is the most popular direction in the company when recommendation engine on their marketplace is the most profitable one. It generates more than 35% revenue of company each year. The next trend is a multi-channel integrations. The key to success of every B2B e-commerce ecosystem is uh, is a wrong technology decision. And also, it's the main pain for e-commerce because a lot of companies pay more attention to like external processes than to internal one, to the back end. Um, <clears throat> because multi-channel has successfully implemented in e-commerce marketing, but multi-channel, it's not only about marketing, it's about uh, it's about like a set of properly selected tools and technologies that will power like all company, all processes, not only external one. In, uh, in most cases, all e-commerce website, uh, like e-commerce platform, were built absolutely independently from ERPs, CRMs, and uh, like uh, order management system, inventory management system. How often you faced with the problem of integration in your projects? In 90% clients has a set of already implemented tools, for example, Zoho as a CRM, Akineo as a PIM, some custom order management system, and inventory management system. And when we, you try to integrate all these system, they cannot be integrated easily because they were built separately. So merchants need to sign in from system to system and put data manually. And enterprises just lose a huge amount of data, uh, shipping information, and information about their customers. Company Nestigal has gone from $85 million revenue to the bankrupt due to the wrong supply chain process. Netflix even created the TV show about this company. Nestigal decided to uh, create their own fulfillment and logistic processes then to, instead of outsourcing warehousing technology. Another great example is a paper stop. It's a, like a very popular uh, grocery store. They, uh, the main reason of their shutdown was a wrong decision for their uh, platform, for their website. When customers arrive to their website, they cannot find products, they cannot see images, 
and that's why the website just closed. The solution to this problem is this properly selected tools and technologies that will give enterprise possibility to increase like inventory visibility, reduce time to the order process taking uh, and speed up delivery, and of course many more. And of course, well-integrated technologies will help companies build more stronger relationships with customers and suppliers. As we discussed before, B2B buyers have changed. They expect the same shopping experience in their work as Amazon, even for more specific products and services. Uh, and sales service portal is a perfect fit for modern buyer. Uh, the well-developed sales service portal will minimize cost on pre-sales activities and increase deal velocity lifts, uh, lift. And the main benefit of delivering sales service, service experience is uh, increasing sales force power by evolving them in more strategic decision than just order taken. And another example uh, of great developed sales service portal is a McDonald's in US. They developed their personal sales service portal uh, because uh, they, they and turned their complex and fuzzy procurement complex uh, process into a transparent and easy flow. Um, McDonald's has a very complicated uh, structure and autonomous culture. It consists of three separate groups. McDonald's corporate, McDonald's owned restaurants and McDonald's franchisee. And each group has absolutely different procurement goals and processes. To solve this problem, McDonald's replaced their old e-procurement system with other one with new self-service portal that was partially built on Magenta. And today, over the two million uh, employees in McDonald's use their marketplace, like McDonald's marketplace, on everyday basis, without any additional training. As one satisfied user and user of McDonald's portal say, uh, using McDonald's portal is easier than order a Happy Meal. The success of McDonald's portal is obvious. It, um, it proposes the same user experience in their marketplace, like shopping, like in general, um, usual marketplace at home. Because B2B just tired of the complex processes and systems. So, what does the future hold for e-commerce? Uh, I'm sure that the future of e-commerce is in automation. Automation of all processes. Um, and I'm not alone. Elon Musk agreed with me. Automation is the future, but not very smooth future. It has a dark side. In five, ten years, more than 15% of people will lose their jobs. Even today, more and more jobs automated uh, automated and people replaced by robots. But I have a good news too. Automation is impossible without technologies and people who use that technologies. That means automation is impossible without you guys. Thank you.